various uh, coach just mentioned how you guys plan prep and come in, you know, knowing that everything was laid out for the game plan, but it shocked him almost um, to see how flat you guys came out in the first quarter. What was going through your mind um, during that frame? And what was the conversation amongst you guys to change things, which we did see that um, at some point in the game? Um, we saw we was down like 27 in the first quarter. And um, it wasn't a paying attention to the scout. We weren't doing anything that we were supposed to do. Um, just being undisciplined, just playing basketball out, just like we outside or something. And, um, it wasn't attention to details. It wasn't there. We weren't locked in that first quarter. And um, we just had to get out the pump. And that's what we did the rest of the game, but just couldn't get out that hole. Just couldn't, you know, go home. Darius, you said you tried to do that throughout the game, but it seemed like it was night and day from the second quarter. I know that you guys had an uphill climb, but you guys know what you're capable of playing like, but then come flat. Like, how frustrating is that? Very, very frustrating. First and the third quarter, we always talk about it. It's every night, literally. It's very frustrating. And just the last one, just Darius, just knowing that you guys can do it at this point. I know that it's gonna take time and the chemistry is building and the pieces are coming back. You guys have had all these different, you know, things that have been at the second half of the season, but what has to occur? What's the next step for you guys um, just to continue to grow together and hold each other accountable? Put a whole game together, put 48 minutes together. Um, that's our next jump. The missing bodies, missing pieces, that happens. That's basketball. We got to put a 48 minute game together. I mean, you got to see it. after the first quarter, it was like you said, it was 90 day. And that's all it is. We just got to put 48 minutes together and just play how we play it. But instead of the first quarter, we got to play all 48, not just three quarters. That's it. That's no more excuses. It's none of that. It's, it's not time for that. We got to put 48 minutes together and play a full game. Chris, go ahead. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey, Darius. What is your theory on the lack of discipline at the beginning of the game? Attention to detail, uh, watching film, pay attention, scout, know who shooters are, know who non shooters are. But it would seem like you guys would know that going into the game, right? So, like, why does that not translate to the game? We're not locked in. Everybody know who the shooters are. Everybody know who the non-shooters are. We're not locked in. First quarter, we're not locked in. And then for you guys overall, you know, you have talked about how you feel like your best basketball is ahead. You have talked about how you're fighting for something, obviously that being the play-in tournament. When, when you're having that mindset and you come out and have these kinds of performances, what does that say, if anything? What does it say about us as a team? Yeah. We're going to keep fighting. It's another game. Um, we've got to fix everything. we got to fix all the stuff that we did wrong. Um, and it's literally just, it's on us. <laughs> it's nobody else. It's not the other opponents, not the other team. It's, it's literally on us. We dig ourselves in holes and we literally just can't get out of them. Like the first quarter and third quarter hurts us damn near every game. If we get that under control, I think we win more games. We, we're competing. Thank you. Go. Um, Kelsey Rose of The Athletic. Darius, how frustrating is it when you, you know, have the game in Chicago, you have guys have conversations about it, to then, you know, come out the way that you guys did tonight and, like, as you're trying to make this jump? I mean, personally, how frustrating is it for you just kind of be still going through these things? Very. Uh, I'm one of the leaders on this team, so it really, it gets to me a lot. Uh, like I said, it's NBA. 
got another game Wednesday against Chicago. Get them again. Just watch the film from the last game and just try to adjust. Ashley, last one. Ashley Bastak, Akron Beacon Journal. Uh, Darius, when JB was out here, he was talking about at this point in the season, the difference between talking about these things that you guys as a group have been all year and actually doing them. So I guess as a leader with this group, and like you said, there's always another game coming up. What do you think you have to do to, you know, make some of these changes that you guys have been talking about? Um, start the game strong and start the second half strong. Pay attention to details, lock in on scout. It's all the little things. Little things is our biggest kryptonite right now, literally. Just paying attention to the shooters, non-shooters, like I said. Just attention to detail. That's everything.